Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today I'm going to be reviewing the XP Pen Innovator 16. So it's a 16 inch display tablet and it's portable. So it's really, really thin. I'm very impressed with how thin it is actually. I've got it out of the box and I thought they'd sent me a graphics tablet instead of a display tablet because it was so thin, I was, <laughs> I was really quite taken aback. So if portability is your thing, then this is a definite yes. First of all, let's get straight to it. What's the drawing experience like? Well, I can tell you that it is absolutely fantastic. I am thinking of replacing my Wacom with this, only because it's a Mobile Studio Pro and it's nice that it's portable, and the fact that I have to keep plugging it in and taking it out again uh, is just a bit of a hassle, especially when you don't want any barriers to get in the way of your drawing experience. So I'm all for cutting down those barriers and just that sort of 30 seconds that it takes to do that sometimes just puts you off uh, getting and doing some practice. So uh, for me, I'm thinking of uh, plugging this one in uh, to my main system and using my Mobile Studio Pro finally as an actual Mobile Studio Pro and uh, using it around the place. So it's that good. It is, I would say, as good as my Wacom uh, in the drawing experience. Absolutely brilliant. The parallax on the screen is really, really thin. That's when you're drawing and it's the distance away from what you're actually drawing on top of. So the thickness of the glass, basically. And they've managed to get it so minute now, it's really, really impressive. And it is comparable to the Wacom. I can't really see any difference. As for the general drawing experience, there's no sort of pen wobble. It's really responsive. Uh, the pen pressure seems just right and you can change that and calibrate it. It's really, really fantastic. And like I say, I can't really see any reason now to buy a Wacom instead of this. I, I really can't. The, the only big difference, I suppose, is the fact that this is HD display. And if you want to spend more on the Wacom and get the Pro versions, then you get the Ultra 4K and all those sort of things. However, on a 16 inch monitor, I'm not really telling the difference. I can't see much difference between this and the Wacom. Maybe it's a bit sharper. There's really not much in it and not worth about a thousand pound more in terms of money. So let's talk about price. This is currently 600 pounds. So that's probably going to be very similar in dollars and it's probably going to stay around that mark. So it's very similar to the Wacom One, I think it's called. But I think this is going to be better because the Wacom One has a thicker screen, so you're not going to get the same experience. But I don't know that because Wacom won't send me one to test. If you want to, Wacom, please send me one. <laughs> so this tablet is going to be my recommended tablet to anybody out there. What else I really liked about it was the drivers. I installed them and they worked first time without any questions. I've worked with Huion and Artisol just recently. They've sent me tablets and they failed. I just cannot get them installed. I've tried lots of different things and I'm fairly experienced when it comes to installing graphics tablets and I can't get them to work on my new system or my old systems. So I'm really wary of recommending anything that doesn't install first time on my system. It's got eight programmable buttons and it's got sort of two wheels, one on the outside, one on the inside, and they are programmable for different programs, which is great for Blender users who do the sort of 2D stuff and the 3D stuff. So going from Blender to something like Photoshop, uh, that's perfect. Are there any downsides? Well, yes, I would say the stand is too low, the stand that comes with it. I mean, at least it comes with a stand. You never get that from Wacom. <laughs> but um, I like my um, tablet quite high and sort of up against me and the, the stand doesn't go that high. So I'd have to get a new stand. That's one thing. I suppose the other thing you could argue that it's uh, wider than it needs to be. It feels like it's wider than it needs to be, but obviously I don't understand the technology that goes into this, but the distance between the edge of the screen and the actual viewable screen is quite thick. I suppose one other downside you might see, it's uh, only Windows and Mac. There's no Linux drivers. But I did notice you can rotate the screen so it looks like it's suitable for left-handers. The actual display itself looks really nice, the colours are really vivid, and the blacks are quite black. The pen that it comes with is very similar to a Wacom pen. And in fact, in the way it feels, it's even similar. It's got quite a sort of hard feel to it. Some of the older tablets, especially the, the sort of Huey on Gammon and the old XP pen, they were quite squishy pens, but now they seem to sort of harden them up a bit. So it's, it's really, I didn't notice that there was much difference. I suppose within in about 30 seconds I was away and I didn't notice a difference. Sometimes when I try these tablets out, I'm thinking, oh, this just isn't quite the same. But this one, fluent, uh, responsive, really nice, comfortable pen, uh, two programmable buttons on the pen again. So all really, really good. 
I'm really impressed with XP Pen. It came very nicely packaged, of course, which you'd expect, but there's other things like there's three different types of plugs that are adaptable and changeable, which I just think is really nice. I hate it when you have a big clunky adapter that you have to plug in. It also comes with an extension cable. So many times you're thinking, oh no, I'm actually gonna have to move my base unit slightly to plug this one in, which is just crazy. So yeah, an extension cable, thank you very much, XP Pen. So would I recommend this? Well, I can thoroughly recommend this. In fact, I'm going to change my recommendations on my websites and in my channel descriptions to say this is what you should be getting as a display tablet. Yes, it is fairly expensive, um, but I would say then that the XP brand I'm very impressed with, and maybe that's the brand that I should be promoting from now on. Uh, if you want to send me any other graphics tablets to test out, maybe the Pro, the thicker version, then uh, <laughs> please do, Mr. XP Pen <laughs> or Mrs. XP Pen. What am I saying now? I'm really impressed and blown away with XP Pen because this is a graphics tablet that's £600. I know that, that to many that might seem a lot, but it's, it is portable, it's very thin. It is absolutely fantastic. And the fact that you can download the drivers, install them, plug it in, off you go, no hassles, absolutely lovely. Thank you very much for XP Pen for sending this to me and I'm going to use it from now on and I'm going to be recommending it. Good job, XP Pen. <laughs> So hopefully you enjoyed this review. Uh, I can really, again, thoroughly recommend it. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on XP Pen um, versus maybe other um, comparisons to other companies such as Hueyon, uh, UG, uh, Gammon, Wacom even. Uh, let me know what you think and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.